Okay, part two. Because my finger hit the wrong button, and I uh, cut it off right when I said, right after I hit the fucking boulder. So anyhow, um, it did, uh, and I don't see any damage. I mean, look at these things. Look at these things. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. These things. Are, this thing is huge. But uh, um, there's no damage. I mean, it even moved. It it, it pushed that rock back. So. Uh, Again, no damage, um, and I've already stated I, I'm not going to do a damn thing to this truck, but mean it's an upkeep um, until something breaks, and I'll upgrade. I will not make the mistake that I made on my T-Max before on my Nitro truck because I started going aluminum, you know, A-arms, control arms. I mean, even the skid plate, I, I went aluminum, and it, it just does nothing but add weight and bend. Uh, bend is not what you want when you, when you're, when you're bashing bend, you don't want to bend anything anyhow, but, uh, plastic is the way to go. Um, I did see, uh, you know, this one guy, he swears, he swears, I mean, he's obviously, you know, he's a good driver. He, he does a lot of bashing on his X-Max. He swears by WD-40, um, that, that helps keep the plastic flexible. But the only thing is, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's his own deal. Uh, he seems like a cool guy. I don't want to bash on him or anything, but, um. WD-40 actually attracts dirt and dust. Um, I, I do like about what his statement about everything it's staying flexible, uh, especially, you know, I live in the desert, and there's no way, man, if I put, if I spray WD-40 on this thing, I, I would just be zipping around a big old chunk of mud ball. Uh, it would just be bad. It would be real bad. But, uh, I mean, to your own. Uh, but, again, I do recommend staying with plastics. Uh, if I do end up uh, uh, breaking anything, uh, any kind of mount, I may consider the aluminum. It depends on what, what, how it broke and, and where it broke and, and, of course, like I said, why it broke. That's when you make your decision. So unless you want a mall crawler, um, I'd really steer away. I mean, those things, the gems, the hell yeah, they make them pretty. They will make them pretty, but, um, well, we're not out here to, to look good, are we? We're out here to have fun. And... Uh, you know, again, I, I, I know Traxxas will fix it. I, I wouldn't own any other vehicle, but uh, Traxxas, I mean, uh, any other manufacturer. I mean, these guys are, the, I mean, this this thing is insane. It's truly insane. Um, you okay over there? I told you to stop sniffing all that shit. See, you get over there and you get all that dust and them cotton balls in your mouth, in your nose. Huh. All right, get, see? Stop that. Move on. Nice key. All right, go sniff some more. So back to the um, to Lil Revo. Uh, these upgrades, you know, tires uh, again, man. Um, it, it, it's I mean, if you if you run anything into a brick wall or a fucking oak tree, yeah, it's gonna bust. But uh, oh wait, I want to go back. I want to go back to this other dude I was watching on YouTube about the X Max and how disappointed he was, how slow it was. This is the factory gear. I mean, I think the speed probably, I've seen other guys clocking this thing at like 35. Look, when you're out there in the desert, I don't know how the swamp is, but when you're out in the desert, 35, you, you, that's all she needs. When I was hitting these jumps, I'll be posting a, a couple of videos. It's hard. It, it is hard when you're by yourself to get good footage. And, you know, I don't really care about clicks. I just want to share my experiences with you guys so everybody can make a, a, a an educated decision. Um, and before they purchase or whatever, but, uh, it's fast, man. I mean, you're only going to get so much speed. Who wants it on the street? Anyhow, if you want a fast car, then go buy a street car. And, uh, if you want to bash and jump and, and everything, believe me, it'll do it. It'll do it effortlessly. When I was hitting, when I was hitting those jumps that I, um, that I'll be posting, I'm coming just 20 feet off of that thing. Cause it does are so rough I, to get any kind of speeds. Ridiculous. Um, it's fast enough, uh, but well, I mean, I'm never satisfied. Either. I probably will put the damn gear in, but it was all about getting some play time, some run time in. Uh, and honestly, out of the box, it is a monster. Um, it's fast, and it it flies well, man. It flies better than my Jeep. Trust me, I, <laughs> it definitely flies better than the Jeep. But hey, man, I I just uh, I want to uh, I'm making this video just to. Uh, Give more uh, cons consensus to help people that are about to buy these things. Um, it's worth it. It's worth every penny. Here you got you got a little ergonomic uh, new controller. No no antenna. 
for uh, uh, bad things to happen. Like, you know, like those metal straws, you know, you're liable to lose an eye with it. <laughs> uh, here's the um, here's the Revo controller. Uh, I think they're both 2.4s. Yeah, 2.4 and 2.4. Yeah, so, I mean, the response, throttle response is, is great. Um, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about the X-Max. Oh, yeah, except for the shitty body mounts. But I'll address them. Everybody out there is addressing them. And hopefully Traxxas is listening. And they'll address them. All right, peace.